Hey everyone, this is Mike with Jetman, and this video will learn about the UI Builder and our UI library, library of UI components that you can use to compose your user interface in Jetman. Okay, so first of all, you have your canvas here that you can use to drag and drop uh, components from the right from the library onto. So the mechanics is pretty simple. You just grab, drag, and drop whenever you want. So now when you've drop your first component. Obviously, uh, there's only one place you can where you can drop it. It's pretty much in the middle of, of the canvas. And it's going to uh, take up the all the space that it needs. But then if you add new components, uh, Jetman will automatically adjust depending on where you place your second or third or fourth or next component. So for example, here, I have this uh, area here highlighted. This is where it's going to drop and expand. And I also have uh, this highlighted area on the top. This indicates or hints me or on where else I can drop these components. So for example, I go, go over to this place and drop it on top. I can drop it on the side. I can drop it here. And when I drop, the whole layout will be adjusted. And you can use the same mechanics to drag and drop and to add more and more components here. You can drop once again on the left, you can drop here, you now have additional areas where you can really granularly insert components. That kind of gives you uh, full flexibility in terms of how you can assemble your UI, your layout. And you can adjust those components, adjust the height, the width, and some other parameters, once again, to tailor it to your use case. Now, if you go back, you can also see here the UI library. So this is pretty much the most important place in the UI builder. This is all the UI components, the pre-built components that you can use to assemble your application. So I'll uh, go over those components, uh, some sort of a quick overview of what you have in our UI library. And it's important to probably, first of all, understand uh, what data sets you can potentially have because all the UI components, you build them on top of your data. So data is the fundamental structural element. So you have your table first, that's kind of a data set where you have your rows and your columns. And then you have records. These are individual uh, rows or records when you, for example, pinpoint a specific company, if that's a company's table, then this company record is going to contain all the fields. And that's kind of a level down from the, from the data set or table level. And then if we move even further, we have an individual field. This is pretty much when we have, a, we have pinpointed the record and then within this record, we pinpoint the specific field. For example, in my case, that's the name of the company. And so for each, so those are kind of structurally three main types of data sets that you will work in JetAdmin. And for each type, you have a set of components that are designed to work with this type. So for example, for the lists or for tables, you have a table component that will render your collection as a table, pretty straightforward. And you might also render it as cards. So pretty much every record will be wrapped up in a card displaying certain fields. And you have other lists like you can scroll here to the list section. Here you have table, map, Kanban, timeline, gallery, calendar, and that's pretty much it. So those are the lists components. And when you will bind your data into those components, you will bind the whole data set, the whole table. Now, moving on to the next one uh, is, which is the individual record. For the records, we pretty much have two uh, UI components. This is the form and the detail. And the form is kind of a visual representation of an individual record where you can change certain values and you can update the record this way. You typically will need some sort of a unique identifier to pass into this form to pretty much show just one record, right? You will need to pinpoint that one record to work with the form. And the detail, it's 
pretty much similar except that it's not editable and there is no button so it's just the visual representation of your record and then moving on again we have an individual field here and for individual fields we have lots of different components so you have sliders this is pretty much one value that visually is represented as, as a slider. You have a checkbox, which is yes or no, logical yes or no. And you have the select components. You have many more components here. You can find all of them in the forms section here. And that's pretty much it. Now you have other types, which I didn't put here on in this presentation because they are a little bit different. So you have charts here. Typically charts will require you to fetch a data set. Then you have uh, also very important uh, sets of components, uh, which are actions or buttons. So JetAdmin is all about interactive interfaces. So you may want to place a few buttons here and there. And uh, apart from a regular button, which you kind of find here, you have a drop down button, which is just a list of buttons and you have a back button if you want to navigate back from this page to the previous one. Also, as I've shown you in the very first part of the video, uh, when you drag and drop components, they lay out nicely on the canvas and that's because they are automatically wrapped into containers, but you can go really custom with custom containers or layout elements here. So for example, you can add columns here and that will essentially pretty much divide the canvas into two parts or several parts. You can add multiple columns and then you can drag and drop certain components into specific columns. So these columns will act as containers. They will contain other elements or components. And you have other things like tabs. The same logic applies here. You have tabs that you can kind of drag and drop certain components into those tabs and you can switch between tabs. You can also place titles and text to name your sections or views. And finally, you have some advanced components, uh, which are custom components, meaning that if we don't have something out of the box, you can't find your components, the, the exact component that you want. You can drag and drop it here. You can code it uh, on your side using React, Angular, Vue, pretty much any front end fr framework, and then uh, customize it using HTML, CSS, and pretty much embed it nicely into your UI. You can also use iframe to show some parts of other uh, pages inside of JetAdmin. And the models is also here in the library, even though it's leaning more towards the page as a more, more of a structural element that I've covered in the pages and models video. You can check it out if you want to learn more about the model. All right, that was it. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great one. Bye.